I'm back and today we're going to do homework. First, we have to do name, number, date. L-E-A-H, number, number one. Okay, let's start. The Daily News. It's just like, remember the story, like that, like that, like that. This one is the same, but just different pictures and different questions. So let's start. The Daily News. It's not actually a daily news. It's just a fake one. They're just pretending it's actually news. So don't worry. It's just homework. The Daily News. Storybook person found alive. England, June 1989. Christopher Robin is alive and well. He lives in England. He is the same person who you read about in the book, Winnie the Pooh. As a boy, Chris lived in a pretty home called Cotchfield Farm. When Chris was three years old, his father wrote a poem about him. The poem was printed in a magazine for others to read. Mr. Robin then wrote a book. He made up a fairy tale land where Chris lived. His friends were animals. There was a bear called Winnie the Pooh. There was also an owl and a young pig called Piglet. All the animals were stuffed toys that Chris owned. Mr. Robin made them come to life with his words. The places in the story were near, all near Cotchfield Farm. Winnie the Pooh was written in 1925. Children still love to read about Christopher Robin and his animal friends. Most people don't know he is a real person who is grown now. He has written two books of his own. They tell what it is like to be famous. So, you know, it's about an author that writes Winnie or Winnie the Pooh. So, let's start to the questions. Who is Christopher Robin? We have to underline our evidence. So, Christopher Robin, he is the same person who you read in about a book, Winnie the Pooh. Okay, who is Christopher Robin? He is the same person Who you read about in the book and Winnie the Pooh? Okay, my answer was, he is the same person who you read about in the book, Winnie the Pooh, or Winnie the Pooh. And number two, what did Mr. Robin do when Christopher was three years old? His father wrote, okay, as a boy, Chris lived when Chris was three years old. His father wrote a poem about him. So, his father wrote a poem about him. When he was three, Mr. Robin wrote a poem, poem about him. So let me read it out for you. When he was three, Mr. Robin wrote a poem about him. Number three. When was Winnie or Winnie the Pooh written? 
It was written in, hmm, Whiny or Winnie the Pooh was written in 1928, which is number three evidence. Whiny the Pooh was wrote in 1925. Number four, where did young Chris live? He lived, as a boy, Chris lived in a pretty home called Cotchfield Farm. That is number four. He lived in Cotch Field Farm. He lived in Cotchfield Farm. Okay, the next one is the last one from this page is why did Chris write two books of his own? Let's see. Tell why what it is to be famous. To tell them to tell them what being Must is to tell them what being famous is. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do the back too if you want me to. Okay. Read each sentence. Add commas to separate the things in each list. So you know like there's three things. It's always like Candy, comma, jelly, comma, and then and something. So, let's start. Number one, Samantha, comma, Chris, comma, and James went downtown. Okay, that's it. Samantha, comma, Chris, comma, and James went downtown. Okay. They went to a clothing store, a toy store, and a museum. It's between clothing store, comma, a toy store, comma. The next one is, Samantha bought a skirt, a blouse or something, and shoes. So it's skirt, comma, a blouse or something, comma. Next one, Chris bought a shirt, comma, pants, comma, and sneakers. Okay. James wanted a yo-yo, comma, a kite, comma, and a ball. And if you want to know how comma looks, they kind of look like, you know, konamu. Like they have a little circle on top. It looks like this. You, you guys see it? Yeah, old chingy. You know tadpoles. They ate sandwiches, comma, carrots, comma, and applesauce for lunch. Okay. Next one. Samantha brought her wallet, comma, glasses, comma, and a book. Next one. Chris had pencil, comma, markers, comma, and paper in his backpack. Next one. They saw mummies, comma, fossils, comma, and models of dinosaurs at the museum. Next one, the last one. The children, comma, their parents, 
comment, and the teachers had fun. So, that was all for today, and we'll see you next time.